And people have questions about whether they've lost their homes, about uh, whether they need to evacuate, about how things are going. And that's where local news is so important. And the work that uh, people are doing to share messages and keep people informed with safe, uh, up-to-date information is unbelievably essential to keeping Canadians safe. That's why, and I'm going to make a comment on this, it is so inconceivable that a company like Facebook is choosing to put corporate profits ahead of ensuring that local news organizations can get up-to-date information to Canadians and reach them where Canadians spend a lot of their time, online, on social media, on Facebook. Facebook made billions of dollars in profits over the past years including off of Canadians. And we recently passed legislation that says, Facebook, if you're going to be sharing news or work done by Canadian journalists or local news, you have to make sure they're compensated for it fairly. Well, instead of making sure that local journalists are fairly paid for keeping Canadians informed on things like wildfires, Facebook is blocking news from its sites. In a larger picture, that's bad for democracy because democracy depends on people being able to trust high quality journalism of all sorts of different perspectives and points of view. But right now in an emergency situation, where up to date local information is more important than ever, Facebook's putting corporate profits ahead of people's safety, ahead of supporting quality local journalism. This is not the time for that. This is the time uh, for Canadians to continue to pull together and be there for each other. It's time for us to expect more from corporations like Facebook that are making billions of dollars off of Canadians.